We found this place in 2016. We, it's a much longer story of, of uh, kind of what led us here, but uh, we were really looking for something different, a new way of living, just kind of a new rhythm that we could enjoy with our boys. This uh, was sort of a broken dream of, of somebody that started back in the late 90s. Um, so the frame uh, of the home was built, I think, around 2000. Really, it was just an open canvas for us to come in and finish and do what we wanted to inside. Um, and we had, we had a few different ideas. Um, we'd been overseas. I'd been doing some consulting work. Really was looking for a bit of a, a restoration in our own lives. And, and obviously this place was a big, I think uh, a big project that, that ended up becoming a restoration as well. I don't think we knew that at the time. It, uh, you know, like I said, was sort of this broken dream that gave us an opportunity to heal that and bring that together. We, we'd envisioned a place where we could have a lot of hospitality, uh, bring some former students from overseas, enjoy all the great things in the mountains. You know, the proximity here in the heart of Colorado is, is just amazing to the outdoors, the, the hiking, the fishing, everything. We wanted to have some kind of family um, business and also raise our boys kind of intentionally to, to be a welcome space. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If we can do that, raise them in a way that's shaping them to, um, to welcome people in. And just learning a lot of different things to run a family business and, and giving them a part in what we're doing. Yeah, and the space really uh, facilitated that, giving us a chance to um, create different areas of the home that could host um, different types of groups, families, uh, students, individuals. We've had a lot of like men's retreats, ladies' retreats, um, yoga retreats, um, our own family and friends that, that have come up. Um, when they just started hearing about what we were doing, they just kept coming and helping us finish things. Folks that could teach us how to do some of the things we need to do here, and we were able to come in and kind of customize not only um, you know the finishing touches, but, but some of the way of the flow of the place and, and allow for kind of areas where you can get away and have some privacy, areas where you can come together, this great room here with the fireplace and, and be able to, you know, enjoy strong community in, in whatever context that may be. And the view. The view. <laughs> we, we, we climbed a 17 foot ladder to the tower because there were no stairs yet. We saw 150 miles of the Continental Divide and just thought, you've got to be kidding, this is amazing. We hadn't seen anything like this um, anywhere we'd looked around uh, in central Colorado. The watchtower really became, I think, a central feature of the home for us. Unfortunately, it was one of the last spaces we've been able to finish. Um, so we've only recently been able to really use it as a office, school room, uh, game room, a uh, place to just get away, have, have some quiet, perfect for sunrise, sunset. Um, but by far, the uh, probably the favorite uh, feature of the home. The Aspen Grove is something I was surprising to me how much how peaceful it is, and to walk through and you're quiet and quite alone out there. Um, I really enjoyed having the Aspen Grove and walking through it and as the sun is setting, especially um, just different times of the day. Hear the birds in the trees and watch them flying all around you. It was very, one of my favorite places actually on the park. I think additionally, just the fact that everything was built to such a large scale. Um, all the rooms are very spacious, giving you a lot of versatility. The other feature I think we love and, and that most of our guests love is all the natural light. So much natural light on all sides of the home. Every, every room pretty much has its own private exterior access um, with the wraparound deck. Um, so again, you've got the, the versatility of the privacy of a room with your own space, while also um, great traffic flow with, with a great center room like this. But huge picture windows, which is a huge hit with, with all of our guests. It's, it's awesome all day long, all year long, any, any time of year in the season, it's great can't miss the sunset or the sunrise, yeah. almost wherever you are. 
I think the entire first year we were here, it was a daily ritual to, to stop whatever we were doing and watch the sunset because um, they were awesome over, over the divide. Um, and we can see, I think it's a 10 or 12 14ers from here across the divide. So seeing the sunset across that is, is always amazing. When, when we first came in, um, obviously we had to get the kitchen up and, and running right away. We asked a friend who was a designer um, in Kansas City that, that was able to come out and help us come up with a plan to really meet those needs as, as well as, um, you know, give us the, the modern uh, features of a, of a well-functioning and organized kitchen. So, say the, the centerpiece of the kitchen that features the 45 square foot island with the prep sink in the middle there that but having two two sinks a double oven two dishwashers tons of awesome cabinet space has really been i'd say one of the one of the biggest compliments we've had in the home i think it's been um it's been neat to see that see the finished space and our family coming out to use it and enjoy it and get away and relax 